Yeah, I should probably do something about that. What's up, survivors? Last week's episode, we found a variety of starting tools, including the modern axe and the flask. In today's episode, we're going to be going after the rebreather and along the way picking up the taser pistol. As always, you can find timestamps down below for those map locations and points along in the video that you might want to skip to. In the last episode, we went out there to the raft and we got this super cool pistol. The shovel requires two pieces of equipment. It requires the rope gun, which you can use to set up your own grappling line, and it also requires the uh, rebreather. What are these clowns doing? Uh-oh, you better back off. Get out of here, this is my fort. Keep an eye on them, Kelvin. Would you, Kelvin, where'd you go? Oh, there, Kelvin's looking the other direction. We're gonna look at our handy dandy map and see where we need to go. I've got this all planned out today. I know what beach we're on this time. Get out of, what are these guys doing? Get, you better bug off. I'm about to shoot these guys. I don't wanna waste my bullets though. So this cave that we were actually, we actually went by the outskirts of of this cave we need to go all the way through that and that is going to get us the rope gun and then this cave way back here where we first landed that's gonna get us the rebreather we're gonna go back to our crash landing spot and run past this green dot first today how we doing on oh we're kind of low on food but we got energy uh, coins yay i went that way last time i'm gonna go this way hey let's uh swap out our gear here we want let's get this axe going because there's some some coffins up here, and I'm the world's best grave robber. Wire, all right. Oh, and some more coins. Um, that's nothing. Bible, it's a Bible. Okay, we got some bones. No, multiple new crafting recipes available. Hi, rabbit. Okay, so we are gonna run by that green dot, but I'm pretty sure that green dot right in front of me, you know, that one there. I'm pretty sure there's nothing there of importance, but we're gonna run by there anyway, cause it's kind of on our way. And then we're gonna make our way back to the beach where we originally landed, and we're gonna go through that cave. Now that cave's gonna be kind of tough. I wouldn't have been able to do it without the nine millimeter, not without my skills. Maybe other people could get through there with nothing better than a sharp stick, but I don't recommend it. So on our way to the beach, we stopped by the green dot to see if there was anything interesting in this here cave. Uh, it has a blue key card door inside it. Down at the bottom, you're just gonna find some food and some arrows, so if you don't really need to, you don't have to stop by this one. We got a path. Let's check our map. We're on this path. Yeah, we can follow this path to the beach. That'll work. Boy, I don't feel like I'm running all that fast. Ooh, dead bodies! All right! Break them open. Coins, nice. Some rope, bones for bone armor. Oh, if we have, we got that many bones, we should go check and see if we can make some bone armor. Yay, bone armor. I could make leaf armor? That sounds pretty pathetic. I'm not gonna waste my time with leaf armor. Cat food sounds disgusting, but Maltov cocktails sounds like it could be a lot of fun. There we go. Tech mesh is so expensive. I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, it, it's pretty cool. It lights up the, uh, the area around you. Oh, sweet, we made it to morning. All right, robbing corpses again. I love that the only use for money is to burn it. I kind of want to make some Molotov cocktails too because I know that the upcoming section is going to be tough. All right, I got all turned around, so we got to look at our map. Monkey people yelling at me. Head this way, looks like there's, is that an encampment over there? Yeah, that's an encampment over there, so we're going to just stay away from the, oh! Get away, get away. Still, I'm not wanting to waste ammunition on the natives. Uh, bullets aren't that... I mean, they're not exactly rare, but they're not plentiful either, so I try not to waste my bullets whenever I don't have to. Fill up that canteen. All right. Okay, and let's look at our map. Yeah, we'll go this way. Since we started a new day, the crash site will have uh, reloaded all of our goodies, and we can get... We can, we can ransack it again, and it'll have lots of good stuff for us. So we're gonna go to the crash site first, and then we'll cut over to our, to our cave that we're looking for. Grenades! Here we go. Lots of goodies, nine millimeter ammo, excellent. And our save spot, I think I got one more container over here. More tape, sweet. We're gonna make some armor, and then we're gonna save, and we're gonna go into that cave. Crafted club, let's do a crafted club. I don't have that weapon. And this makes a club, 
which I won't use because I have better weapons, but I like to collect everything. All right, that's probably enough Molotov cocktails. I'm gonna not use the last of that, so. All right, so we're gonna go into our first cave. This is where the rebreather is. There's tons of goodies and lots of people to fight in here. It is kind of a tough one. You might be able to go through this with just the spear if you happen to crash uh, spawn in at this location since it is near one of the spawn points, but I don't recommend it. I think you're gonna need at least some a few explosives, if not the nine millimeter. Okay, here's the map. You can see the first spawn location. I'll zoom in a little bit. There's where we actually spawned in right there on the beach. And here's the cave that we're at. Zoom in for you. There you go. And this is where the rebreather is. Let's go into the cave. All right, we got a flashlight. Enough with that stupid lighter. What was that nine millimeter ammo? My favorite. That an oxygen tank. Grab those because we are picking up the rebreather. Whoa. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. And why is there a paddle just hanging from the ceiling? Okay, that's creepy. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna spear this guy. And can I get him right in the head? Let's go for a headshot. He's holding still. Come on, headshot. Wait for him to get done puking. Boom, yeah! I don't know if that was the head or not, but that was pretty good. Uh-oh, we got a jumper. Sound effects are coming in a little late there. Oh, that was a big guy. Oh, what's this? What is this? That's the big guy. I didn't realize that was a big guy. Oh, get away from me. Die. Oh my goodness. Run, run, run. Ah! Reload your gun, silly. All right, I got bullets. We didn't take too much damage there, surprisingly. I guess I got enough armor that I was doing okay. Okay, give me grenades for crying out loud. Let's take care of this once and for all, shall we? Yeah! That's how we get things done with explosives. Blow them to smithereens. That's right, baby. Did I like annihilate everybody? Oh, there we go. This guy's stuck. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can try out our fancy new club. He's stuck. Let's see if we can't take him out. Get out of here. Boy, it's got short range on that thing. Not a lot of reach with the club, guys. He's gonna have some sort of hidden goodies on him or maybe some body armor, I don't know. Creepy armor, yes, let's wear the flesh of our enemies. See, these guys, they tried to beat him with paddles and I used grenades, which is a much better choice in my opinion. Creepy armor, equip, 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 equip. And one more, we are halfway to being a disgusting creature ourselves. Oh, let's wear the tech armor instead. Tech armor's better, man. I like the tech armor for sure. Okay, and it looks like some fish, man. Let's just go ahead and eat this raw fish. It's, I don't wanna carry it around. I'm just gonna eat it. Cleaning agent, I found out the three-legged woman's name is actually Virginia, not Meg. I thought leg, Meg, made sense to me, but uh, no, it turns out it's Virginia. Cleaning agent is not a fan of Virginia. For those of you wondering, I'll probably do a video on how to be friends with Virginia if you're interested. Or I guess I could just tell you now, you simply do nothing. Put your weapons away, stand still, and eventually she'll give you stuff. Later she'll actually approach you. Okay, we got uglies ahead. It's time to grenade them. Ooh, we'll do Molotovs. They're not in the water. We're gonna do Molotovs. I'm gonna have to switch light sources, so. I can't light the Molotov right now because I'm holding a flashlight. That was not a wise choice. Grenades, ah! Where'd that body go? No, he's still standing. Let's throw it a grin. Whoa, he's coming after me. Oh no, we need a different weapon for sure. Get out of here, give me the gun. That's a Molotov cocktail with no lighter. Running, 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 running. Switching to the pistol. Heading back in. Whoa. Get down. Let's see if I can get a head shot or a mouth shot. I'm not really sure what this guy's built out of. Trying to conserve ammo and failing miserably. Still standing, get out of here. That guy took some bullets. All right, we're gonna switch back to the uh, lighter, man, so that I can use Molotov cocktails. See if there's any, anybody's, anybody's in here? What is that squishy noise? I hear something. Stupid lighter doesn't have the range that the flashlight does but I can't light my Molotovs with a flashlight. Okay, I see somebody. Let's get them. Let's make this happen. Booyah! Got both of them. Let's do it again. More fire. 
Yeah, suck it, giant walking mouth. Oh, no, he's gonna hit me and start me on fire. That sucks. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, this guy's, I'm just gonna throw a bottle at him. That's a jumper. Trying to shoot by the light of my muzzle flare in here. This is challenging as all get out. Let's go to the better light source. So pros and cons to all your different light sources, right? Creepy armor collected. Man, we got so much creepy armor. All right, let's gear up because I got two missing pieces of armor. Took some damage. Gonna get that creepy armor back on. Look at all that bone armor just sitting there. Pistol in hand, flashlight in hand. We're ready to go. Oh, I hear music. What's this? Please be bullets. Woo, bullets, baby. Music's getting louder up there, so I'm gonna go check the quiet tunnel first and see what's down there. Water source here, or no? Never mind, just really, really drippy, wet kind of things. Flares, can't use flares. Okay, dead end. 80s music, all right. Turn that off, thank you. Wow, long tunnel. Ooh, dead body. What's he got, what's he got? Oh, look at that! Bonus! We found a stun pistol! I love how he holds the gun sideways. I bet he goes like this to make the bullets go faster, too. Uh-oh. What's that? Tactical jacket collected. Hot sauce, baby! We got a tactical jacket, too. Explore first, build later is the opposite of all survival advice ever given. I know. If ever, I don't know if you guys ever watched that show alone. The first thing you do is build shelter. You don't go look for food, you don't go source water, you just find a good place to build shelter. It's horror survival game though, cleaning agent. It's like in the movies when they run upstairs instead of out the front door. Like they'll have their choice between a banana, a hand grenade, or a pistol, and they'll choose the banana. Okay, I'll try the other the other fork in the road one time and then I'll just backtrack even further. You know when you lose your car keys and you pad down your pockets 72 times looking for your car keys, double checking your pockets? That's what I'm gonna do with this cave. I'm gonna go through it 72 different times trying to find the missing junction. Hey, another direction to go, what do you know? This uh, maybe following the water down to maybe where the rebreather is, huh? Could it be, you think, maybe? Big open cave I don't like. Walking, walking very carefully. I heard some stumbling rocks, I don't like that. Crouch. I lean over to look around that rock like I can see better if I lean in my chair. Okay, what's down here? I think, I think we're on it. Oh, look at that, yes, this is it, okay. We just didn't backtrack far enough, this is it. There's a shark in the water, I gotta deal with that. I'm gonna collect all the little goodies around here before I get too carried away. And then the rebreather is down here at the bottom someplace. Uh, yeah, we'll just pick up some raw arm and a raw leg. All right, back around to the other side to get my rebreather and then we're swimming out of here. Life jacket, we don't need no life jackets. As we got it, some red paper, a replacement flare for the one I just tossed in the water all willy nilly. What is that? Oh, it's looking at my rebreather, okay. We're gonna equip the rebreather, jump into this water, and swim the hell out of this cave. Left trigger to wear it. Okay. I'm gonna throw this spear at this shark and see if I can't one-shot him. I don't think it's gonna happen. Sharky! Sharky, where are you at? Come on, come on, hold still. Yeah, I got him! Is he dead? No, he's a tough son of a gun. Okay, one more time. New spear. We're in a cave because we have to get the rebreather. We have to get the rebreather, and we need to get the rope gun, and then we can get a shovel. Why can't we just dig with our hands? I don't know, but we're gonna make this happen today. Come on, Jaws, I see you. Got him again! Is he dead yet? Come on, man! Enough of this nonsense. Die! There, that's better. When in doubt, pistol it out. Okay, I don't remember where we're supposed to dive into this to get out of here. We're just gonna go down and see how it goes. 
I don't know if there's anything cool under this water cave or not. I just want out of it. I've had enough of this cave. This cave sucks. I want to go to the next cave. Now, some people theorize that you don't actually need the rebreather to get to the shovel. That if you have like a lot of stamina, you can actually hold your breath for the swim. But we're going to need the rebreather anyway, so I would hate to go to all the trouble of, of going after that shovel and, and not being able to get it. What's up, Kelvin? Once again, we did all the work while you just kind of stood there. Oh, we're on the other side of the cave. Okay, let's go this way because we have a safe spot already built. We're just going to run back and use it. Half of our energy, most of our grenades, most of our Molotov cocktails, a lot of our 9mm pistol ammo. Like I said, I don't think you can get through that one with a stick. All right, so we successfully got the rebreather out of the cave. We're gonna say we're going to uh, save our game here. Now that we have the rebreather, next week we're gonna attempt to get the rope gun, which will then allow us to get the shovel in further episodes. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to like and subscribe and share the video if you liked it.